One way to threaten someone with a good time is to get them to read The Savage Avengers Omnibus by Marvel Comics. This is written by Jerry Duggan with art by Pat Zercher and Mike Diodato Jr. This includes some of your grittiest and coolest Marvel characters such as Venom, Elektra, Doctor Strange, Punisher, Wolverine, even the likes of Conan the Barbarian who in fact pretty much steals the show but unfortunately Marvel have lost the rights to and even Doctor Doom and the list goes on. Welcome back my fellow comic book friends to Comic Casper, this is my spoiler-free review of the Savage Avengers Omnibus. So let's kick it. Our story begins, yes, you guessed it, in the Savage Land, where Conan the Barbarian and a whole bunch of other Marvel characters are brought together through different motivations and manage to come against a big villain by the name of Kulan Garth, who is plotting away trying to do the usual villain things, such as take over the world, get everyone to submit to them, and destroy anyone in his wake. He's also accompanied by a character called the Priest of Sickles. May not be a major villain, but I did love that they included a little side story or origin story of this particular character. I think it's a very nice touch and it really enriches the story. And speaking of the writing, which Jerry Duggan is behind here, I was very surprised it was him writing this story the whole time. I read some of his X-Men stuff and I wasn't too impressed. I mean, it's not bad, but I wasn't blown away. This felt like it was written by somebody completely different. It was just so much fun all the way through and I felt that or I got the impression that the writer was having a great time putting this together too. The artwork is exceptional. Pat Zercher is the one stealing the show and I thought Mike Diodato Jr. was gonna be on this for the whole time because he starts off the story with the first five issues but to my surprise that wasn't the case. When Pat Zercher jumped on board I thought wow I thought I was going to be disappointed with perhaps some lesser artists coming on board but instead pleasantly surprised that they really really up the game here. This was beautiful artwork to look at through and through. Yeah, we did have some guest artists here and there. And you know, also we have the old school Uncanny X-Men story in here too. To give us more of a background story on Cool and Gath, our main antagonist. Now, the contents of this is the entire Savage Avengers story, which is from issue one through to 28. We have the annual issue one. We have the Uncanny X-Men 190 and 191, which give us a backstory of Cool and Garth back in the day, I think in the 70s. Free comic book day 2019, the Savage Avengers, and we've got the Savage Avengers Zero. So this story came about back in 2019, which isn't really that long ago. So I was pleasantly surprised that they pumped out an omnibus so quickly. So back to the story at hand, our protagonists all seem to come together in the Savage Land, whereby the Priest of Sickle is sacrificing characters and collecting blood to summon a demon. You know, as is expected in the Savage Land. And one of the characters, which unfortunately is cannon fodder here, is one of Wolverine's mates. When our fellow protagonists learn who the evil is, they eventually band together and start working throughout this entire series. It's interesting to see who is the star of the show in this book. To my surprise, that is Conan the Barbarian. I didn't think it was gonna be because we have so many A-list Marvel characters in here. Now, my assumption was going to be that Conan the Barbarian is just some unga bunga caveman that doesn't have much to offer and I was so wrong and I'm glad that I was wrong because Conan's might really almost matches his wisdom. He's so succinct with what he says and the little that he says has a great deal of wisdom to it. There is one particular scene here where Dr. Doom invites Conan the Barbarian to his castle in Latveria to have dinner with him because he has some sort of a proposition and as Conan is eating the dinner, Dr. Doom is just sitting across the table from him, staring at him. And Conan asks, why aren't you eating? Doom assures Conan that the food is not poisoned. Conan insists that Doom should join him. And why is he wearing the mask? To which Doom says, you know, he's got horrible scarring. He's got like a disfigured face. Conan quickly replies, ah, so you're vain then. And in that moment, Dr. Doom takes off his mask. Conan stares at him, unflinching, unwavering pushes the food towards him, Dr. Doom digs in. And there's just this mutual respect between the two because Conan doesn't even flinch. 
and all of a sudden he's got more respect for Doctor Doom becoming so vulnerable in that moment with Conan. These little touches throughout the story that makes it all the more enjoyable and that really enrich the relationships between the characters. Now probably around the middle of the story here you will get the King in Black event which kind of breaks it all up and it, that's not a bad thing. I very much enjoyed it. I thought it was a breath of fresh air. It changes the pace a little bit and we have a special guest appearance from Deadpool which I thought was written really well here. Jerry Duggan has had quite a lot of experience with writing Deadpool in the past. Knowing that he wrote Deadpool for about three years beforehand so he must have felt quite comfortable and at home writing the character and it really shows. He just slips right in there and it comes out pretty funny and whimsical and comical. For somebody like me who had zero knowledge and zero interest in Conan the Barbarian this was a nice transition in getting to know the character and I had a lot of fun doing so. Despite this omnibus being filled with rich A-list Marvel characters, each character has a different level of spotlight that they get in this series. And I think Doctor Strange, Conan the Barbarian, and maybe even Doctor Doom probably steal a lot of that limelight. And it's really fun to see the three of them bounce off of one another. And I really love the fact that Conan the Barbarian takes a lot of things at face value. This creates for a lot of comedic effect. And he's always so stern and staunch. And he has a lot of honor too, makes him all the more respectable. As our protagonists are playing a cat and mouse game throughout the whole story, chasing after Cool and Garth and his sidekick, the Priest of Sickles, Conan the Barbarian really goes on different little tangents and adventures throughout the whole story, bumping into Marvel characters from across the universe, which is great to see. And whilst mentioning that, our main villain starts becoming so powerful that it forces the Marvel team to start recruiting some A-list villains. And that's when things get really spicy and exciting. I gotta say, this was probably one of the more fun adventure-like reads that I have read this year. It was an absolute breeze, doesn't drench you with a lot of dialogue. But then again, there is a story in here, you know, the Uncanny X-Men 190 through 191, which was written by Chris Claremont at a different time, which was the 1970s. That has way too much dialogue. It is so, so wordy. It really doesn't feel like it belongs there. But aside from that, everything else is very succinct and it says what it needs to say with as little words as humanly necessary. The Savage Adventure of the Savage Avengers is just a whole lot of fun, like I said, time and time again. And the conclusion is <gasps> so satisfying. It goes above and beyond my expectations. And I think this goes down as one of the more fun and excellent runs that Marvel has created in the last decade. I highly recommend it. If you're umming and ahhing about thinking of getting it, I think you should get it. I don't know what the chances are of this getting a reprint with Conan the Barbarian no longer being licensed under Marvel, but never say never. But if you do get the opportunity and if you see it in the stores, I recommend you get it. It's definitely a must read for Marvel fans and it's probably a must read for Conan fans. It has a list of amazing characters, it keeps taking you on different adventures, it keeps things fresh and exciting all the time and if the Savage Avengers don't get any more adventures in the future. I will be fine with that because to me this was a near perfect run for me. Granted I did want to see some characters have more spotlight than others but what we got here was definitely excellent. Anyway guys that was my little review of the Savage Avengers by Jerry Duggan. Excellent artwork all around, a sensational story and I want to hear from you guys. If you guys have read it let me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed the video hit it with a like. If you hated it hit it with a dislike and I will hit you up with some more comments comic book content soon. Take care.